Listen, y'all, I've been hearing this song ringing in my head all day long. It's by Gene Hoskins. That's G-E-N-E-H-O-S-K-I-N-S. It's called Make It With Jesus. And the lyrics that keep ringing in my head are these. I can make it with Jesus. I can make it with him. He has given us power. Through Jesus, we win. What is God saying? God is saying that if you include his son, Jesus Christ, you will indeed receive the victory, okay? How do we know this to be true? Because God said, whomsoever believeth upon his son, Jesus Christ, shall not perish but have everlasting life. Listen, y'all, with that everlasting life also is abundant life. How do we know that? Because because Jesus said that he came that we may have life and to have it more abundantly. Whenever you have that everlasting life, that abundant life, that means you are guaranteed victory, okay? That means you are guaranteed peace. That means you are guaranteed what God has promised you. The thing is, if Jesus is not included, then that means you are cutting what you're supposed to have out of your life. And God is saying the enemy is coming strong on some of y'all. He is coming in like a Goliath. But God is saying that if you will include his son, Jesus Christ, then you will indeed defeat that which is facing you. That's why God tells us that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, okay? But they are mighty through him to the pulling down of every single stronghold, okay? Casting down every single imagination Imagination and every high thing that will exalt itself against his knowledge, right? Bringing every thought into captivity under his obedience. God is saying you cannot fight this thing from a carnal state. You cannot fight it with the PhD, with the GED, with your own might, with your own power, with your own ways. God is saying you have got to fight it spirit by spirit. In other words, in the spirit realm, realm with the weapon that he has given you and that is his son, Jesus Christ. When you do that, you will indeed embark upon the victory, okay? God said, great is he that is within you. He didn't say great is you. He said, greater is he that is within you. That's his son, Jesus Christ. So you got to use the weapon that he's given you to fight the enemy. And when you do that, you will indeed use the power and the authority that God has given us all. And you will defeat that Goliath. You will no longer entertain the thought of giving up. The thought that you are not going to make it. The thought of throwing in a towel. That is not an option for you. That is not an option for me. And that will never be an option as long as we understand the weapon that God has placed in our hands. In our vessels, okay? And it is his son, Jesus Christ. God says, swing that sword. Swing the word, which is sharper than any two-edged sword. Able to pierce and divide us under the soul and spirit. Joint and marrow, okay? God is saying, use what you have. That's his son, Jesus Christ. And when you do do that, you will indeed receive the victory, okay? Don't let the enemy fool you. That that is facing you is not greater. God is greater. He is greater within you. Use what he's given you. His great and mighty and powerful weapon. His son, Jesus Christ. And you will see. You will indeed receive the victory. Therefore, what? We will no longer allowed to come out of our mouth or even entertain the thought that we will not make it, that we will give up or that we will throw in the towel. We bind the spirit of sabotage right now. We bind the spirit of suicide right now. We bind the spirit of miscarriage right now. We shall bring to birth everything that God has given us and that is through his son, Jesus Christ. Y'all get it, got it good. I hope so. Because God had that song ringing in my head for a reason. He said, you can make it with Jesus. Through Jesus, we win. Every single time. I love y'all. And most of all, Jesus loves you too. Go and listen to the song. It's by Gene Hoskins. G-E-N-E-H-O-S-K-I-N-S. Make it with Jesus.